The start of monsoon is just three weeks away now, and it could be a pretty wet one. Above normal rainfall is predicted for the southern half of the state. Good news for a lot of farmers and ranchers out there, and if you have plants in your yard as well. Fox 10 Stephanie Almos live with more. Hi, Steph. Yeah, the past several months has been pretty rough. Unfortunately, we have not seen a whole lot of rainfall thus far, which could be concerning. So the monsoon predictions for 2022, it's uh, giving some hope, especially for the Arizona uh, farmers and ranchers. Farmers and ranchers in Arizona obviously love rain or water in any form it comes in. Agriculture in the desert southwest has its benefits and its challenges. During dry times, farmers can access groundwater or surface water, but it's a different story for ranchers. My ranchers, with their cattle out on the rangelands, they need those summer rains. So if we don't get them, potentially have to sell off their herd. Julie Murphy with the Arizona Farm Bureau tells me last year's monsoon was difficult as the season started dry, but things took a turn later on. It was too late and some ranchers were forced to make the difficult decision to sell their herd. Why that's tough is we build our genetics for improving our herds. You can't do that overnight. So for some of my ranchers, because the rains didn't come quick enough, they had to sell their herd. For other ranchers, depending on where they were in the state, they came just in time. And having a wet monsoon is certainly beneficial economically. Annually, Arizona ranchers generate around $700 million. A lot of our farmers and ranchers have to be very faith-based because uh, we have to depend on Mother Nature or Providence to kind of make sure that we get to do what we do and what we do so well to feed our Arizona families. But it is, it's one of those things where they're constantly monitoring. Yeah, that's right. Farmers and ranchers are constantly monitoring the weather all year round, not just leading up to the monsoon season. And they also use technology to test their sto soil and uh, check out gauge where they're standing. Reporting live tonight, I'm Stephanie Omo, Fox 10 News.